Welcome back to the DQD at Call to Crawl. Today I am going to attempt to change out the batteries on this uh, diesel watch here. And after opening it up earlier, I found out it not only takes one battery, but it actually takes four separate batteries. So I am going to open it back up in front of you guys and attempt to swap these batteries out. Now this is no easy task because these batteries are so small that I actually had to I actually had to take a picture of the battery and blow it up so that I could read it. Um, my eyes are not the best but even with reading glasses on it was impossible to read. So I went to uh, my local Fred Meyer store, which I have not been into Fred Meyer's in like 10 years. And uh, let's just say that's changed a bunch. But uh, went in there because I heard that they sold or had did watch service. So I figured, well, if they do watch service, batteries changes and stuff on watches, that they would probably have the batteries I need in stock. And thankfully, they did. So all four batteries cost me about 27 bucks with tax, which, you know, I felt was a fair price. So first of all, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to remove the bands, wristbands. And it looks like there's little screws here that um, unscrew to hold the wristband in place, but those are just, those are fake. Those are faux. They're there for looks. Um, these basic basically are spring-loaded and retract just like most watches so we'll just put a screwdriver in here pull that back maybe not on that side we'll try this side here and get the pen out I'm gonna try and do this as best I can on camera I'm gonna move things around hopefully you guys don't get blinded by the reflection and the video turns out okay okay there's one side And uh, if I go silent, it's because I'm, I'm concentrating. I figure, you know, I'm an RC guy, and I'm used to working on small stuff. So I should be able to tackle a job like this, even though this is much smaller than the 110 scale RC stuff I'm used to working on. Okay, this is uh, challenging. Okay, there we go. We got we both both bands are off. Now, I picked up this little tool on Amazon, and it's for watches that have um, little notches on the back side. Okay, and this is to these little legs right here are to clock into that, and they're adjustable. You can dial them in for smaller watches or for giant ones like mine and uh, this is a diesel watch by the way it's a brand and we used to have a store over here um, near me that they did this for me and I just paid them to do it and I was a happy camper so we gotta get these in the notches and we just turn the back like this Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. You just turn it and voila, there's the back of the watch off of it. Now some videos show the watch having a gasket around the outside perimeter. I'm guessing that's for um, some waterproofing. Uh, it looks like this guy's made here in China. Uh, not here in China, but there in China. So like most everything else, right? Uh, and then we have to take off this plastic piece here to reveal all the batteries that are, there's one right there believe it or not that little guy that's for the digital readout so this face has four different clocks on it okay and for some reason they all went dead at the same time so I'm really hoping that it's just a battery issue and uh, and that they just all died at the same time I don't know why that would happen like that, but let's hope that's the case here. And I can just 
take this guy apart. So inside there you can see there's uh, three different batteries for the mechanical watches. And I'm going to start with the hardest first. That's the little tiny thing right there. It has kind of like a little door that you can move out of the way and then the battery comes out. Now, I'm sure jewelers are cringing right now because I'm using a metal pair of needle nose pliers, which means I'm shorting the battery when I reach around both sides of it. But hey, that's life. Now, this one, I can't even read the dang number on there. But it is the smallest one. All three batteries are different. So, or all four batteries are different, which, you know, that's that that's a value to me. So, we're going to peel this one out of its container here. This is a 512 SW. Uh, Sony calls it a 335. That thing is super small. Now I'm not going to try and put it in there with the needle nose pliers because I don't want to dead short the battery. I'm just going to try and get it in there with my fingers. Probably would have been better had I picked up some plastic uh, needle nose pliers. And this guy here just kind of hooks in and it should latch. Like that okay so there's one well, there's no second hand on there so there's no no way for me to tell that actually fixed the problem um, let's see the next one would be this guy here and 621SW. I think that is. Yeah, I think that's this one. So it's really hard to tell. And I'm not a watch guy, so I, I don't know for sure, but it seems like it just should come out. Um, I don't know if this is like the retainer here. They don't want to hurt anything. So I'm just kind of, just kind of winging it. Okay, there's that one. It's out. Let's uh, let's open up the container here. If this video turns out, I'll probably uh, put it out there for educational purposes for other folks who are going to attempt to do this on their own. Oop, that's uh, that's upside down. You can flip that guy over there. Kind of get it down in here like that, and then I think I have to pry this while I push this down. This is all very delicate stuff here. Way more delicate than a 110 scale crawler. That's for sure. Okay. I definitely don't want to force anything. I don't want to bend anything that shouldn't be bent. I don't think that... I think that's going to get the job done. I feel like it needs to sit down a little tighter. I'm going to try and 
There we go. Get that little arm above it. Hold that guy down. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way that's fitting. Um, okay, now we got this one over here. And it looks like... See, there's no... I don't think a, there's a screw there. Um, but I think that this arm might move far enough away to allow me to pop that out. Yeah, again, this is uh, this is not easy with a guy with old eyes. Gee whiz. I don't think that's a screw. It does have a slot. Hopefully you guys are catching this. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it here. You know. Old saying we used to use at Burger King. Fake it till you make it. Sometimes I've lived by for probably way too many years now. I I almost feel like that screw needs to come out to get this battery out. It just seems like it's Again, sorry about the silence, but this is this is watches, you know. It's like uh, okay, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna grab. Don't spill your beer on the watch, Don. Uh, we're gonna grab a little flat blade screwdriver here and see if we can maybe loosen this up. Just so that we can move it a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. So I loosened that little flat blade screw, dry, screw there up and uh, kind of pried it back and the battery kind of popped popped out. So uh, we've got this big battery here, this uh, 626, 626 SW or 377. I believe that's the one we're, we're looking for here. Um, That looks like about the same size. We'll just set that guy right over there. And we'll open up this one. Have you guys ever replaced your own watch batteries? How many batteries does your watches take? Let me know in the comments below. Really be curious to hear what you have to say about that. All right, now... We need to get that back in the slot. It kind of needs to go under that. This is definitely not an easy thing to do. Uh, will I try to do this again on my own? Um, probably not. Probably not. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably just pay somebody to do it. This is a lot of little work here. And, you know, I don't even know if this is going to, if it's going to work in the end, right? What I find interesting is that all the batteries died at the same time. And how that's possible, I don't know, unless unless there's some shoot. There we go. Get in there. Unless there's something in here that some connection that says, okay, if one battery's dead, they're all dead. So I don't know that. So. I got the battery in place. I'm uh, kind of tightening up that screw. Yeah, I'm definitely not over torquing that screw because I'm afraid of what I'm doing. Okay, so that's it for the big batteries there. And then we have another little battery here. And this one, 
this one is a real bear right because it's got a Phillips screw that holds the back plate of the battery in place and it has to come out all the way because to be honest with you oh there it is that's the screw right there can you see that little thing that is the screw that I'm working with um, so it's got to come completely out so that we can move the, the battery cover out of the way okay I guess that's out of the way um, and this is supposed to be the 319 battery here. I'm going to try and grab that with the... And that does not look the same. So, am I in trouble here? I don't know. Um, I could really use a magnifying glass right about now. Let's see. I have, I do have a magnifying glass on here. Five two seven. Yeah, five two seven. Okay. Well, that's the one that came out, and this has got the number five two seven on it. So let's just. Uh, Let's just think that we're doing okay here. Maybe it looks a little bit different in the packaging. Okay, so we'll put that guy kind of in the place there. Come on, get down in there. Okay, that's down in there now. And now this little guy here has to swing around, kind of like that. Now this is the scary part. This screw is so tiny, folks. It is, it is, it is minuscule. Can you see how small that is? It is tiny. Now I need to, I need to kind of get a hold of it without it going anywhere. And, it, and literally, it really does want to just go, it wants to take off, is it's just so light. I'm really glad I'm not building RC cars using this. Oh, man. It just wants to. It just wants to take off. It is not fun to try and get a hold of this screwdriver, screw, screw, not screwdriver. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it is so small. And my hands are so big. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying. And, you know, it's not that my hands are so big. But they, they are big. They're, they're big hands. And trying to get this little guy in that little hole... Wow, it's it is not easy. Come on. Most of this is probably gonna be luck. Because it is it is not easy. This is the probably should have started with this one. Actually, I think I was going to start with this one. 
Come on, almost there. Okay, we've made contact with the hole. We're screwing it down. Okay, we're screwed down. So now we got to put this back in place. Hopefully my bald head's not getting in the way here. Viewing pleasure. No fun to look at that. Okay. Well, that's down in there. Well, that's all the batteries. I can't believe I just did that. There's the back cover. And uh, try and get it started threaded by hand first. Okay, I think that's that's gonna start, and then uh, and this guy here. So I I didn't see an O-ring, so I doubt that this is very waterproof, which is fine. Um. I've got second hands moving. I've got digital readout. I'm damn excited. Oh, woo, yeah. All right. Well, I'll set the time off camera. I think I've made success here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Give us a like, subscribe, share, or don't. We'll see you on the next one, whatever it may be. Bye for now.